Growing up on a farm is awesome because you can spend so much time with nature and just watching how things actually work and grow and change. Watching all of the interactions with nature has helped me in my professional life really understand the importance of the balance of how precious water is to all of us, not just to the people that we serve and drink water, but the people that use the water as a recreational source, people that live along water. People come to Florida for this, to enjoy this type of scenery, to come down to this river and canoe down the river, to fish down the river, to live along the river. And we have hundreds of miles of these types of river systems here in Florida, and that's what people move here for. In the 80s, in the Tampa Bay region, we had population growth, and also we only had groundwater as our only water supply source. And because of the population growth, we began pumping a lot of groundwater out of the ground. And the result of that was extensive impacts on wetlands and lakes. We had subsidence in, in wetland areas. The ground just fell out from underneath the wetland system trees falling over. A lot of environmental damage was occurring due to that groundwater pumpage. We made a conscious decision to become more dependent upon surface water. Tampa Bay Water uses three sources of supply. We use groundwater that is pumped out of the ground here in our three county area. We also use surface water, river water, from the Hillsborough River and from the Alafaya River. And we use uh, water from Tampa Bay itself. Saline water from Tampa Bay is, is desalinated at, at one of our facilities and pumped into our system and blended with surface water and blend it with groundwater. We really changed the risk profile for our water supply. And now we are much more dependent on Mother Nature. Water supply that comes to us via rainfall is so unpredictable, and we have to depend upon it to meet our demands every day. So we pay a lot of attention to the weather, we pay a lot of attention to the changes in weather patterns that we're seeing around the world right now, because it can have a dramatic impact on the availability of our major source of supply. The opportunity to restore the wetlands that we saw damaged in the 80s from groundwater pumpage and watch a system recover the whole part, not just bringing back the water, but to watch the plants come back to life and the biodiversity. You see the, the birds use the system and the, and the wildlife use the system. We have to work on a balance of how we use water, both for human consumption, but also to protect and honor the natural systems use of water so people can fish and live and enjoy all this, this natural beauty. The most beautiful thing about water is that it's continuous. It starts as rain and it appears as river flow and it appears as sweat on my brow, which means it's ev I'm evaporating and so it's going back into the atmosphere. And that's the beauty of water, is the cycle of it. <laughs>